Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a bunch of stories, starting with a huge update for all the folders out there, Intel is doing some really shady stuff, AMD's new processors, and a new GPU maker with some serious potential. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first Drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, all of your hard work with folding at home looks to be paying off. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, there's a contest for the top 10 GamerMeld folders. To find out more, check out the FAQ channel in the GamerMeld Discord server. Anyway, it looks that way because Folding at Home just announced via Twitter that they've reached the collective power of 2.4 exaflops, which is faster than the top 500 supercomputers combined. Of course, that is pretty close to the upcoming AMD-powered El Capitan, but it still beats it. Basically, don't stop folding as we continue to fight the thing that shall not be named. Next up, we have an update on that sweet-looking RTX Minecraft. For those who haven't seen it, it's really just Minecraft with ray tracing added, and as you can see, it's one game where ray tracing makes a huge difference. Anyway, if you've been interested to try it out, you won't have to wait much longer, as Nvidia just announced the public beta will begin on April 16th. Game ready drivers are being published on the 16th as well, and you'll just need a copy of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows 10, as well as an RTX GPU. The final release of the game has been stated for later this year, but an exact date has yet to be given. Next up for today, it looks like Intel could be doing some really shady stuff to hold AMD back in the market. Why are you the way that you are? For those who keep up with it, you may have noticed that Ryzen-based mini PCs, similar to Intel's Nooks, have been a pretty hard thing to find. Of course, AMD only recently began the initiative to challenge Intel's NUCs late last year, but even the newest mini PCs to market only include last-gen APUs. Of course, that could really be anything. I mean, AMD doesn't have the same kind of marketing budget to help jump into a fairly new market and plenty of other reasons. Well, according to a tweet by Anatech senior editor Ian Cutlass, it actually isn't AMD's fault. In the tweet, he stated, quote, some of the more prominent NUC vendors get incentives to not build AMD versions or delay them. All I can say is, um, whoa, I'm obviously not a lawyer and can't give any real legal statement, but I'd at least say that's morally reprehensible. I mean, talk about stifling competition and hindering the market. Of course, with that said, there's no real evidence here, it's just one person's statement, but it's definitely from someone in the industry, and if it's true, something to be concerned about. Next up for today, AMD just announced a new series of Epic ROM parts called the 7FX2, which according to them, offers the fastest per-core performance from any x86 server CPU. That's right, AMD is officially competing on a per-core basis now instead of simply having more cores. That performance increase comes from more L3 cache as well as higher base and boost frequencies. The three new processors come with up to 24 cores and seem to be bin parts that, while quite a bit faster, will obviously generate more heat and pull more wattage. Either way, this is a new push by AMD to further compete with Intel in the server market, so it's likely a welcomed one. Lastly for today, AMD, Nvidia, and soon Intel may really need to look out, as Yahweh could be coming in to steal their thunder soon. The story originally comes from the Korean news outlet The Elec, who apparently heard from industry sources that Yahweh is starting a cloud and AI business group to compete with AMD and Nvidia in the server market. For those who may not have seen, Yahweh released the Ascend 910 last year, which they claim can get double the FP16 performance of Nvidia's flagship V100. Of course, that is on TSMC's 7 nanometer plus process, but if it's true, that is still impressive. Since then, they've unveiled a slew of other GPUs, so it's clear the company is serious. According to the Elec, Yahweh is already recruiting experts, including employees from Nvidia. Whether they'll ever make gaming cards is tough to say, but both AMD and Nvidia had better up their game or their new competitor could steal a chunk of that sweet, sweet market share. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? A bit aggravated if the story about Intel is true, or are you not even surprised? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.